Hello and welcome back to the Widow SMP. We are here outside our house that we built in the last episode and as you can see we've got a little dog friend there. So we've made a few changes to the house and exterior wise I don't think there's much of a change. I think the only change is that we've got some of these glow berries hanging down from the sort of big tower which I really like. So it looks really nice in the night time anyway. So we've also got this dock in front of us here which I don't think we had built in the last one. So this is just a little dock to put your boat in and then sail off into the distance. However, our boats are not there because there's a reason our boats are not there. And it's because there are two guys in here who have taken my boats. So these are obviously two villagers and we are going to be setting up a villager breeder today. We're going to be using the Impulse SV design. I think that's who designed it. Anyway, it's uh, just a basic breeder. It's not an automatic one, just a manual one. And uh, yeah, so basically in this house, we've done a little bit of work to the interior, as you can see. So I made this really cute little kitchen that I have kind of come up with a design for and uh, I really like it. I've never really been one for interiors. I've always thought my interior design absolutely sucks. These guys are very noisy. Please be quiet. Anyway, this interior is actually probably one of the better ones that I've ever done. You'll see how bad my interior design is elsewhere when we get upstairs and see the bedroom. Horrible! <laughs> so there's a lot of work needed done here and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a work on that at some point soon. Not only that, but we've got this little tr secret trap door which is going to lead down in here, which is something else we'll be doing today because we're going to be putting in a super smelter. And it's not really going to be a super smelter because it's only going to have about five, maybe six furnaces in it. So it's not exactly a mega super smelter, but just something to keep us ticking over on items. As well as that, we have actually tunneled all the way down to Y level 54, I think is down here. And here's where we can find some diamonds. So we did a little bit of resource gathering as well whilst we were away and yeah, we've done a little bit of work down here as well. I've also gone down to Y level 59 because I thought once we've done with Y level 54, we'll go down to Y level 59 and try again there because we should have more success at Y level 59 as well. So we've got way up and down through this and this goes all the way back up to the same room. Oh, trap door shut. Ah, nice. So I've also got a couple of little armor stands here as decoration around the crafting bench and I've got two more little bubble elevators here as well. And this one goes up into this storage room here, which is just kind of like our storage attic. We've got lots of different bits of things that we're storing in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to build an automatic sorter or anything. I've never done one of those before, but it's might be something that we explore when we get further down the line. So that's the down one. So if we go back up here and we get all the way up to the top and here is our enchanting table, which still needs a few more bookshelves because this is not going to give us enough enchantments on it. So uh, I actually had to use somebody else's villagers to get my pickaxe enchanted and it's actually quite low. So we're going to have to go get some XP soon. And now we'll get started on our villager breeder. So. If we make our way over here, we've already made the area that we're going to put it in. So down here under the cactus farm, we've got another little room down here. There we go. We're just going to make a little, and this one's going to be a temporary block actually, so I'm going to put a dirt block here for now. So put the three glass blocks in as so, and then we put slabs on top of the glass. With that done, all we need to do is get this oak fence and put that in the middle here, making sure that it's actually off the slabs and not off the glass. Apparently that breaks it. I've never tried it myself with it on the glass because I've always been told that it has to be on the slabs. But in case any of you are watching this and want to try this, make sure it's off the slabs. And then we put our beds on top of the slabs. And then once we've done that, we get carpet out. And we put carpet over the pillows and apparently that's another thing that can break it. Make sure they're on the pillows and also make sure that they are all top to tail. Once that is done, we get our trap doors. So you put one on top of the other and these are just temporary blocks. And then you just put one trap door here and another trap door here, another trap door here and another trap door here. Then you can just break these two middle ones. And that's basically it built. 
And that is the collection system done. So basically what happens is we put a minecart on here and that will fire along and it will pick up the villager that's in here and then it will pull it down again and bring it out over here. And once we have it out here, then we can actually start doing something with the breeders. So the plan is just to sort of have the villagers hanging around down here for a while until we actually can get them into our, our villager trading hall. And the villager trading hall, it's not finished yet. We may get it finished in this episode, but this is the villager trading hall here. And we, as you can see, we've got a few little workstations set up for the farmers, but then all these ones along here are going to be librarians. So that's going to be our villager trading hall. We'll get it looking a lot nicer than it is at the moment because it looks a mess. And uh, yeah, that'll be probably done in the next episode, but we might get it done in this one. So if we dig out this area down here, didn't really think that through about building it right underneath the farm, but it's not a big deal. We can just get rid of these blocks and we should still be okay because all we need to do is get a bit of a platform level with those beds and then build a little area around it once we get the villagers down here. So, and now it's time to actually do the awkward part, which is getting the villagers out here. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to break this wall and pull them through it. Well, my truth, let's have a go. We have success. We got them both down here with no pain whatsoever. So now all we need to do is just build up around them so that they don't escape. Then we just break the boats and we can jump up over these. Head down here and hope they don't follow. That's some really good MLG action there. And then when it's nighttime, they should in theory go straight in there to sleep. Okay, so while we wait for nighttime, we might as well get the super smelter done. So let's just grab our stuff out of this chest. Let's grab the hoppers and they go in like so. It's five, isn't it? Yep. And then we put these on top and then we put more hoppers around the back. Then we put more hoppers on the top. So you need three hoppers for every single furnace. So now it's just to get in the rails and the design around it done. So the rails and stuff are a little bit of a complicated thing. Okay, so to start off with, we will just put the rails over the hoppers because I think all the rails on the hoppers are regular rails. We put two blocks down here and I think three blocks on the top one. And I think you do the same on this side as well. So, oh. We've only got space for two. That's gonna be awkward. Actually, I think it's only one on this side anyway, so I think we could get away with that. Attempt number two of our super smelt. Was, uh, silly. I forgot to do something. <laughs> That's kind of an important block there. Uh, right, and this will need one as well. Why didn't this one move? I'm not sitting on there properly. That 
close to them coming? <sighs> it's working! It's working! Moment of truth number 54. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Oh, it's a stupid rail in it. We finally got it working! Hooray! <laughs> Okay, so that took us a lot longer than I thought it would. A lot longer. <laughs> but we will have to try and figure out our villager breeder because why wasn't that working? I do not understand. There's an adult villager now. This guy's not grown yet, but this one has. So there were two. Now let me just pop another cart down. Ah! Picked up the adult. So I think this guy is somehow stuck. Now, I don't know really what to do about that. <laughs> but for the meantime, I'm quite happy with it the way it is because that villager got out, so I'm happy with that. We'll keep breeding some villagers. We'll have plenty by the next episode. And then what we will do is finish off this. We might finish it off camera and then I, th I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, so I think I'm going to have a little play around with designs off camera and see what it comes on. Like. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching again, and until next time, see you then. <laughs>